we are actually standing right in front of the 57 year old's home and here is that van now he's actually home because police had to let him go on a misdemeanor charge Taking a closer look at the van police say Arnett Harrington used to take young children to and from school is beyond disturbing. Two broken out windows and only 12 seats, detectives say, to transport 14 kids. Harrington did not answer his door, but police had to let him go. Chief Robert Vincent telling me his hands are tied. Would you consider putting your kid in a vehicle with a, a man who's been charged twice with DUI? His license is revoked because of that and other substance abuse violations. His officers arrested Harrington this morning in front of Gulfport Elementary School. After a parent complained last week, Harrington dropped off her five-year-old and left him alone. She gave detectives a description of the van and they canvassed the area. Harrington is a private school bus driver working for D&D &D Transportation Services, completely independent of the school system. They're basically running an illegitimate business. They've not registered with the State Division of Corporations. They haven't registered with any government entity to be a public transportation uh, system. The chief says they could only charge him with a misdemeanor based on his driving record. There's nothing they could do regarding Harrington's past sexual assault. He says on a minor. It goes back two decades, and because of that, there are no restrictions on him being close to kids, a reality that disgusts parents. That's terrible. I think that they need to do something else about it. But Arnett's close family members claim people have their loved one all wrong. You would trust your kids with him? Yeah, for family. Yeah. Now, Harrington has been ordered actually not to drive that van at all. And the chief of police tells me that he is looking into more charges as well as looking into the company. But in the meantime, you have a lot of parents that are extremely angry. Reporting live from St. Petersburg, I'm Serena Fazan, ABC Action News.